Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'll talk about Star Sable secretly updating one of their unreleased areas, some spoilers of new horses, pets, and I'm also going to tell you something about an unreleased Star Sable mobile game and I'll buy a horse. So as always, if you don't want to be spoiled, click off, but if you do enjoy these kinds of videos, consider subscribing, it really means a lot, and now let's get into it. The first thing that I wanted to talk about is the area above Mistwell, which we used to call North Mistwell or Mistwell Lake, but in Star Civil Breaking News livestream it was officially announced that the area is called Wild Woods. I'm really excited to tell you that Star Civil have updated it yet again. There were many people posting videos and pictures on different social media showing off new details. As you can see, they added some new texture, bushes, and these awesome looking trees. And now with these trees, I feel like it's really starting to look like the concept art that we were shown in the live stream. And if we compare old videos of the area with these recent ones, you can really see just how much the area has changed. I think Star Civil is doing an amazing job with this area and I hope that we'll get it in the early months of next year. As you know, this week we got brand new Jorvik Wild Horses, but we didn't get all of them. CC Creations posted a spoiler of the rest of the coats with different mane and tail styles that are coming in the following weeks. My favorite from this batch is definitely the first one. I mean, I don't know, I just honestly love the coat so much and I'm sure I'm going to buy it. The second one reminds me of an animal that has the same stripes on its legs and other similarities, but I forgot what they're called. But it also reminds me of wild horses on horse. The third one looks like Starshine. Well, not really, but it's the Jorvik wild horse version of him and I think it looks really cute and magical. The fourth one also reminds me of wild horses on horse. I mean, I know they don't look that much alike, but they're still quite similar, at least to me. The fifth one, I feel like I would like it more if it had just the normal coat, but it's true that Jorvik is magical, so there will be some special horses. And 
as you saw on screen, this is the 10th horse and it's not yet known if it's going to be a Jorvik wild horse or a magical horse or maybe even a Halloween horse. It looks really similar to Galloper Thompson's horse, so I think there's a chance that it will be a Halloween horse. Along with the fact that Star Sable didn't put it in the picture next to all the other ones when they posted it on Instagram. A few days ago, an Instagram user Club Nika Ins posted these pictures of masks. This is what she wrote in the description of the post. You don't have enough variations of the beautiful masks. It seems that in the future, we are waiting for replenishments in the store. They look nice and I wonder if they're going to be to any quests. What if I told you that there was supposed to be another Star Stable mobile game? Not Star Stable Online Mobile, Star Stable Horses or Star Stable Friends, but a game called Star Stable Run. I don't actually know how many people have heard of it already, but I just found out about it a few days ago when Stephanie Goffman on Instagram sent it to me in the DMs. First, let's check out what kind of a game Star Sable Run is. So it's obviously a mobile game and this is Star Sable's description on Google Play Store. Pre-register to get Lisa in a limited edition Star Sable jacket. Don't miss out, an official game from Star Sable Entertainment developers of Star Sable Online. The Dark Riders have stolen Freep's Pandorian seats. Take the reins of a Soul Rider and dash through Jorvik on your steed in pursuit of the evil Dark Riders. They must be stopped at all costs. Experience the Star Sable saga on mobile. Dwell into the fantastic world of Jorvik, of magic and astral symbols of the keepers of Aedin and Dark Core. Play as Lisa and Starshine, Linda and Meteor, Anne and Concord, or Alex and Tin Can in this running adventure. The beautiful island of Jorvik. Explore the mysterious breathtaking island of Jorvik. Bask in the splendor of its natural beauty and savor its crystal clear waters. Dash through the rustic towns green pastures, wide open plains and rolling hills. Protect Jorvik from evil forces. Assist the denizens of Jorvik in upgrading the buildings of their towns to better protect against nefarious deeds of darkness. Casual but challenging, it's easy to learn, just run as fast as you can while dodging or jumping over obstacles. Show them what a soul rider is made of be the hero. So what happened and why haven't we heard about it yet? I honestly don't have that many answers as there is not much information out there. In fact, I only found a handful of articles that were all pretty much the same. And I don't remember Star Sable ever talking about it. Here's what one of the articles said. Star Sable Run is a cancelled action game that is brought to you by Animaka Brands. It's cancelled for Android, Google Play Store and has not yet been said whether or not for the iOS stores. It is currently available for pre-registration on Android Marketplace by pre register for the game, you'll also unlock a special jacket that is only available for those who register for the game during this early access period. There's no rating set for this game yet, but if I were to guess, it would be rated E for everyone. The game is very much in the early access parts of development, but it is speculated that it will come out sometime in the summer of 2017. 
Hopefully fans will not have to wait too much longer as Star Civil Online is already a well-known game on the computer. So this article came out in early 2017 and I guess the game is still not out yet. And the game has also not been updated since May 2018, so I think it's clearly a cancelled project. But what happened? My guess is that they thought that it's just not worth the time, money and effort. The market for these kinds of games is incredibly saturated and though Star Civil has a really big audience, I don't think a big percentage of them would play the game. I know I made a video about Halloween spoilers already, but I'm just quickly going to summarize everything again. It seems like this year, instead of Galloper Thompson, the main role will go to Yidris. Star Stable mentioned telekinesis, mime act, karate, and actual magic in a post a while back, but his true role and what he's going to be doing is still unknown. It looks like there's also going to be a new area there which seems to be a prison then again the new horse that is speculated to be the halloween horse a trail ride with a giant cat witches and fire and there's also three new outfits and two new pets And after a long wait, Star Sable has finally added the black curly horse to their Star Sable Horses game. This one and the white Irish cob, I think, needed such a long time to finally arrive to the Star Sable Horses app, but I'm really happy that now they are here. So now I'm going to buy one of the new Jorvik wild horses. I pretty much know which one I want to get. And yes, I am wearing the same outfit from my previous video. I don't really change them that much. When I saw the price, I didn't think that much of it. But yesterday I was watching a few videos. Well, okay, I watched like one video. And I was like, you know what? It's actually kind of expensive. Like it's almost a thousand star coins and that takes such a long time to get if you're not purchasing any. Oh my gosh, I really like them. I don't know if I want to get like this kind of mane and tail style. I also saw braids and I liked those, but I don't have that many star coins on this account so i try not to waste all of them i actually really like the palomino but i am only going to buy one horse and i like this one more i would honestly love to buy this one but i don't like the blue and it's stale so i don't know <laughs> which one should i buy i actually don't have an irish cob and yesterday i saw that they're only 850 which is like i mean it's a lot but compared to most new horses that's honestly not i mean a hundred star coins is a hundred star coins so i think I'm good. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna buy this one. As always, I am not original. I have bad names, so please don't <laughs> judge me too much. I think I'm gonna go with Wild Wind. I would love to name it something North, but I feel like I have so many, 
I mean, I have a few horses with those names and I don't want, you know, too many. I feel like I've been here for such a long time. I saw so many people come and go. So, um, yeah, let's just, oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like the moment I buy the horse, I kind of regret it because I know I'm not gonna train it in a million years. So let's go and <laughs> check this horse out. Oh, I. They're so fluffy. Are they resistant to cold? I think they are. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I'm so confused. I didn't I have a ribbon like a tail ribbon that was black and now I don't <laughs> and my outfit isn't complete. Oh no. I can just imagine like one lonely horse with the ribbon on its tail. Okay, I'm just I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to... Oh, <laughs> it's here, okay. I was watching TikTok before and like one song is stuck in my head and it's annoying. Oh my gosh. I think this one is kind of cool, but I, I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Like I have a lot of horses that have braids already. But it just looks so cute to me and but this would also look like so cool you know what i'm not gonna change it because i just i don't know uh, we get only 500 like xp i'm just <laughs> this is probably the first and the last time i'm gonna train and we train i mean like do one race with this horse Okay, let's just go to the druid paddock now. Oh my gosh, my horse is level 2. <gasps> the old English thoroughbred, is it? <laughs> it would... No, she disappeared. I actually like the old ones. I There are a few that I always wanted to get, but I didn't. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye! <clears throat>